This is a video to help you with cat-cow pose, which is a yoga posture that's focused on your awareness of your ability to flex or round your spine, as well as extend your spine. And what I especially appreciate about this posture is that with focused attention, you can become aware of some of the spots in your spine that need a little bit of re-education, need to be taught how to move um, in concert with the other areas of your spine. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take you through some variations uh, that build upon one another as we go. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is just the basic yoga cat-cow pose. I'm going to take my knees a little bit further back than what is normally instructed for cat-cow because I believe that that creates more room for the spine to move. So the cat version of cat-cow is rounding your back up to the ceiling. And then the cow part of cat-cow is letting your spine extend, belly and ribs going towards the floor. So here's cat, and here's cow. Now the spine is made up of three basic areas, the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine, and the cervical spine. And what you can do is you can isolate your cat cow in each of these areas. So that's the next variation that I'd like to show you. The first area I'll show you is the lumbar spine, which means I'm going to bias my cat cow out of my pelvis. And so notice how if I keep my ribs still and I keep my head still, I can move just my pelvis. Almost like I'm lifting a tail up if I had one and tucking my tail under. Lifting up. Tucking under. Isolating those motions in the lumbar spine and pelvis. Okay. The second thing that I can do is I can isolate my cat cow in my thoracic spine. So for that I'm going to become aware of my rib cage and my lungs and keeping my pelvis still and my head still. Lift my rib cage up and sag my rib cage down. Lift my rib cage up and sag my rib cage down. And then the third area that you can isolate is your cervical spine or your skull. And for that one, I'm going to think about being long through the crown of my head. This is an area that's tight for me, and you'll see it as I try to extend my cervical spine. That spot's a little sticky on me. And then as I drop my head down, and I flex my cervical spine. Lifting up, elongating through the crown of the head, extending cervical spine, and coming down, flexing cervical spine. From there, if you want to progress this further than those awarenesses, which are wonderful to work on in and of themselves, you can help to isolate certain areas of your spine by using different positions and different tools. So for example, if I use a pair of yoga blocks, what that will help me is it'll help me work on extending my lumbar spine, and you also see it'll help me round my thoracic and cervical spines. So if I come into cat pose, notice how that's creating a little bit more ability for me to extend my low back, and if I come into cat pose, notice how much round I'm able to get in my upper spine. And then what if perhaps I put my forearms on the floor? The opposite happens. Now I'm able to flex and really isolate flexing my lumbar spine, which is another area where I'm a little tight. Flexing lumbar spine. Or if I come into cow pose, focus on my upper back, notice how that really can help me and hopefully you isolate extending your thoracic spine and your cervical spine. 
Last but not least, what can be really helpful for feeling your back, because really a lot of this is the art of feeling your back in outer space and it's hard to put our brains there, a little bit of pressure can help. Not something that forces your back an emotion that it's not ready for, but just help you feel where that part of your back is. The sandbag is five pounds. You can also use a yoga blanket. And what that does is it helps tell me where my lumbar spine is. And it helps me isolate that motion. Similarly, I can shift this up and then it helps me find that part of my spine and I can isolate that motion. So those are the most common variations that I'll give people for cat-cow. As always, seek the recommendations of a therapist if you're looking to get more specific in terms of working with acute or chronic pain. Thank you.